Been kind of lucky being that I have only been to a few surfer paddle out events. It's a happy celebration of a moment of sadness in life. The following pictures are of a non-famous ordinary guy who touched the hearts of so many. Tony, see you again. Hello. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. There's no rules. All right. What's your name? No yes. rules. Oh, Just Tony. Anymore. And my name is Jimmy, and I'm here to say that I'm so pumped to spend time with Tony in Barbados and get some super fun little lefts at South Point, drink rum punches with him, and showed me the way of the mezcal. I'll forever have uh, one of my favorite recipes in my cocktail book. And we love Tony. Tony left a big impression on me and my family, and my girls, and my wife, and all of us. So we love you, Tony. Tony. Instant best friend, instant life partner, bro. Instant love. I think you thought we had something in common in terms of uh, connecting people. Good people, loved ones, fun people. But I never stayed, I never, I never, I never, I never ha held a candle to your energy and your ability to connect people. But I love you, man. You lived a lot of lives and all of them just brought all these people together. I miss you so much already. Talked about past lives and future lives and um, that's just a... Uh, brutal we don't have that future life together I love you T Anthony Masters you the fucking man you you are legend Tony man it was fucking so easy to get simple and drunk and have a good time when you're around it was just natural I've had some of the best times when we were partying with you just simple Rick came out when Tony was around. It's just easy, man. I fucking love you. Good to miss you. See you next time, dude. Tiki Tony. Tiki Tony. Woo. Tiki Tones. Dude, you brought the best out of everyone. Really. Fuck yeah. You know, when you showed up. <laughs> I think everyone knew they had to kind of put the seatbelt on and go for the ride. Yeah, here we go. Right? <laughs> here we go. Ready? And, I mean, that, that's like, there's not a lot of people that have that capability, you know? There's not a lot together. of people that, like, immediately set the level at 10, and then if you went past it, you knew it was a good night. It didn't always happen, but... But it did. It, it was good. It was common, you know? And Tony was that person. He was the person that set the tone. No pun intended. Pun intended. Best smile. <laughs> One of my favorite things in life was fucking being handed a drink by Tony. It's just like, <laughs> like I just always look forward to that moment, like when you first see him at the party, and he's just like, "Here you go," and he's like, hands you a cocktail, and you're like, oh, "Nice yeah. hug behind it." It's incredible. Nice, good such, hug a good hug, dude, such a good hug. Such a good hug. Because it it could be his drink that he just made, but he wanted you to have it. Like yeah, the second yeah, you yeah. walked in the room, it was, yeah. it was, you know, hey. How's this person gonna have a better time? Yeah, exactly. And, and that hug, was it. A hug behind it, it was right? extra special. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing, dude. Just yeah, the energy. Yeah, definitely look forward to a good Tony hug, man. I think we'll be making cocktails in your honor for the rest yep. of our lives, man. I gotta get a recipe in my kitchen, and that's it. One thing I'm gonna do for Tony is make sure I, I rub my ass on that like shower stool and cardio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dig deep, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. I might just buy like a beater car and park it on Curry Street for eight months too, just to like bring up old memories, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like just for fun, just for shits. Tony would do it, why not? Uh, dude, I love you. Thank you, like, blessing us with being, bringing everyone together yeah. and uh, 
much rather have you here, dude. To be honest. Yep. I'd rather have you here. But I'm glad you brought everybody here together. There's a silver lining, I promise, dude. We'll keep it going. Tony Day. Yeah. June, June 13th. June 13th, 20, what is it, 2022, 23? 23, dude. 23. Tony Day. Can't wait. Forever. It's always Tony Day. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'll Love think you, about buddy. you every day, buddy. That's cool. On a different note, this carpet on my feet feels pretty good. <laughs> Uh, you would love carpet in a van, <laughs> yeah. for sure. All right, Tony. Good we're going stuff. to get some wingies and, and uh, some burgers on your freeway. Yeah. Tony, we're going to go out tonight, buddy, in your memory, and we hope that you're with us. He's definitely with you, man. Hey, wait. We know He's that there. you're with us. Wait, yeah. tell, him, uh, tell him the rule. Uh, a mini beer and a wing. Oh, a mini wing, a mini beer, <laughs> and you gotta idea, you gotta <laughs> sniff the sauce off the wing. <laughs> <laughs> Just really fire it up, dude. And uh, that's what we're gonna do tonight in your honor. One in one. I love you. Love you, Tony. I'm gonna be partying in Tony's honor forever. <laughs> Tiki Tony. Peace, bro. Miss you so much. Tony Masters, i.e. Tony Pavone. It was such a pleasure to meet you through the whole Jersey crew. Uh, you're truly the life of the party. And I couldn't imagine, really can't imagine going back to Pavone's without you because you made that trip so special. Uh, but you're, it was so nice being able to hang out with you And I really hope you're in a better place right now. I love you. And we'll keep the, the party alive for you. Peace out, brother. Love you. Like I'm talking to you, bro, and this shit was, uh, it was, uh, sudden. And, uh, I've been telling Maddie every day, I don't know what I'm supposed to do without you. You know, all, all my stupid ideas or the good ideas, I, I, you know, call you. I'm like, what if we did this? What if we did that? You know, we could make this thing work or we could sponsor this thing. Like, how fucking crazy. And you're like, yeah, we can do that. No, that's fucking dumb. We can't do that. We're gonna, we're gonna go surfing in the summer. We're gonna go snowboarding. We're gonna we're gonna ride down a fucking mountain. We're gonna do whatever it is. We're gonna do everything we want to do. Is what's stopping us, you know? And that was that was how you thought. And that was how you lived. And I see your goofy ass face in my fucking head every day, making fun of me for being so sad. Yeah. You are you sad all the time, man? Like you gotta cheer up, bro. Life's not that bad. Like. I go on a rant and tell you why life's so bad and you know, and it's just me. I don't have you anymore, but it's not it's not it's not just me, it's 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 everybody involved in your life. We have all those people, they're always here, they're always surrounding us. You had the this fucking chokehold on like the homies, like all the homies are everywhere. And is this real? I'm just out here loving you, bro. I'm put you on the fridge. <laughs> Anthony was a complicated guy, and he had a lot of facets to him. He had he had his party Tony upbeat guy. He had his <laughs> mellow chill guy. He had his rage. I'm gonna clean your kitchen persona, and he also was just sometimes, um, you know, his own his own like worst enemy at times. And uh, he he had so much potential, and I felt like he had he had the world. 
he had the world at his fingertips and he never knew how to like fully encapsulate that into something he always had all of these ideas and these plots and these things he wanted to do and they were always for better or worse like pretty good sometimes they were the wor the best ideas but like he always was wanting to do something and they all really i guess maybe where i'm really trying to go with this is that they all involved his his friends how to elevate his friends that was like one of the things that really stuck out to me um about anthony was that he really wanted to include his family and his friends in these ideas and he wanted to build something with people he loved and be loved and that was really where it, what it came down to with him for me is he just wanted to be loved and he shared his love to people and he spoke his mind to everyone albeit maybe sometimes it was not the best idea to share that with someone you just met five minutes ago but it didn't matter because he, the, he would just tell you how he was feeling at every moment and that was like what was great about him and he really loved he loved us and he loved he loved surfing he loved skating he loved art he loved photos and he loved talking about other people around him and building them up and and bragging to other people about people that he knows it was he was a truly amazing person and to talk about him in the past tense is absolutely devastating and I, I I've known him for 20 I don't know since I was 18 19 so almost 20 years and I've been with him through multiple eras and stages of my life and he was always just this constant force of positivity and uh, inspiration and he was always a person that would just tell you how how awesome you are and how great you are and even you know if you knew what you were doing was absolute shit he he just had this way to uh, he knew how to tell you you were doing the right thing he knew how to tell you that you were <clears throat> you were in the right space and you were and you were killing it and you were like you were you were the best like you're the best fucking photographer i've ever seen and you're you're the best this that, and the other thing and you know all these all these things he would say and uh he just he just wanted to be loved and he wanted to love all of his friends and people to receive that and he loved, loved connecting people too that was another thing he was very interested in interested not is the right word but he, he connected people that was like a talent of his he knew who needed to know who to create beautiful things together and when i think about anthony those are like a few of the things that stick out to me to fully encapsulate him in a in a speech in the back of days van is hard to do but love you tony Hope to see you again on the other side. I'll miss you, buddy. Tony, Anthony, Tony Baloney, Tony. Tony, Anthony, Tony Baloney. Dude. Smile. That's all I can that's all I can think of, man. You just were like the fucking party guy. Um I will continue to try to fill your role as the party guy. Love you, bro. There's another life. Um, I love Anthony. He's one of the best friends I've ever had. Showed up for all the important stuff. Like, he would flake on you ten times in a row and you're supposed to go surf or whatever. I'm exaggerating. But, but anything important, like... Uh, your birthday or your book launch or your wedding or like whenever you needed him to be there he'd be there um, I have really funny stories about Tony I remember <laughs> I remember we were staying with him in LA and uh, we had gone surfing in the morning 
and Anthony was just ripping. He was like, harvesting waves at zero, so he got like a million waves in a row. And then on, on our drive home, we bought a bag of salami tips, and uh, they sat in like the back of the car. And we got back to his house, and we were just like pounding salami and eating uh, like weed chocolate. And I had never really done like edibles before, or it had been a long time, and I didn't know that you're not supposed to eat like 50 milligrams. And um, and then like pretty soon I was just higher than I'd ever been in my life and puking up salami tips in Tony and Lauren's bathroom. That was a memorable one. Um, Tony laughed about it the next day. I also remember on that trip, Tony and I went surfing in Venice and Tony was like, I fucking hate surfing in Venice. Uh, people are such dicks. And sure enough, like Tony, I don't know why Tony was always getting into arguments with people in the water, even though he's like the sweetest dude. Uh, <laughs> but we were surfing and this guy was mad because Tony was getting too many waves and and the guy paddled up to Tony and he was like, you fucking probably work for uh, Bird, which was like the scooter company. And Tony like went from being like super mad at this dude to being like, all right, that was funny. Um, and I think we're the same kind of dude. And they like, I don't want to say they became friends, but Tony, Tony like, uh, Tony just switched his attitude towards this dude and like, and like uh, gave him some love. Um, so that's kind of how he was. And I keep thinking about how Tony showed, uh, showed all the different sides of himself like if like he would share things that he was struggling with or things he was ashamed of or what was going on in his life that was hard and that's such a gift because um, that's really hard for a lot of people to do but but um, when Tony did that you could be yourself around him and you could share you know share all the different parts of yourself with him so I love you Tony I miss you I can't believe you're gone yeah Hey, uh, my favorite story about Tony is that he told me he forgot how old he was and then he found out by Googling himself. Oh, Coos. What the fuck? Tony. Really? It's me and Coos here Yo. in the back of a van. Yo, dude. Yo, dude. Uh, Bait for the it. first Bait. fucking time in my life, I don't know what to say about you right now. Bet you didn't think this was coming, man. Nope. Uh... We all had the best day. Pretty sick Col Tony day. Collectively, being by your side. Emotionally, physically. Spiritually. Your dad paddled out, caught a sick wave, was the center of a circle of all of your best friends told a story followed by wow, the, what a, a cool wave band. of your yeah, right here. energy and uh, I think you would be happy man I think I think this is exactly what you would have imagined it. Maybe a, a lot of like more drinking and a more party and a more everything. <laughs> we did a fair we, we, good we bit of drinking. We tried our hardest and I I agree. I think uh, I don't know what to do and I don't know like I said, I don't know what to say. And this for the first time in my life I don't know what to say about you, but I try to do you right and make light of the situations and I don't know if that's good, that's bad, but it's what I do, it's what I know, and I'm going to continue to make light of situations that are tough because of you, and I'm going to hold you in my heart forever, and your brother said, like, the most phenomenal Anthony Masters, Brendan Masters, Greg Masters speech ever with about 30 seconds of preparation. I was up until 4.30 in the morning last night writing a speech, and it came out like shit. <laughs> <laughs> compared you said to something like in two seconds. Yeah, that was compared to uh, what your brother did was a million times better. But I tried to make light of the situation, make jokes, and that's what you would do and what you wanted. But I know you didn't love this street to surf, but we did it here because it was fucking easy for us. But we went through. I don't even know. Probably 24 bottles of Madre, four cases of desert water. 
Mai Tais, beers, high noons. We did what you would have done. We started drinking early. We were surfing buzzy. We were dropping on each other. We were fucking hooting. We were screaming. We were fucking shouting at each other. We were kicking sand at each other. We were cutting each other off. <laughs> cutting each other off, not wearing sunblock. And we no. did all this for you, man. And I'm I hope so you sunburnt for you. Mm-hmm. I'm cooked. I'm so cooked. So cooked. And your dad is walking past. You'd love this because we're in, and I know you knew Shitbag, and we're in Shitbag's van with a video camera that looks like a borderline pornographic video. But your dad just walked by with the first hat I ever bought from you, uh, General Shredco. That he picked up randomly just because he needed a hat. Yeah, he was like, I need a hat. Can I have this? And I was like, yeah, but it's the first hat that Tony ever sold, and I. But yep, yeah, it's yours now, so. That's the hat. It makes sense that your dad has it. Dude, we love you so much, and I wouldn't want to do this little van confessional with anyone else but Kuzma, and I'm so fucking grateful. I know you too. I love Kuzma. I love you. We're going to love you forever. We're going to fucking see you again. We're going to tropical mental attitude for the rest of our lives. Thank you for setting up the party. Again. <laughs> the future party for and, all of And us. every other party we have to go for the next few years, but... <laughs> You taught us how to live, and, and we love you. Yeah. We love you, man. Love you, Tom. There's endless things we could say. We could probably burn out this SD card. We could fucking... Probably burn. Tear the fucking place down in your honor. And I'm sure we will tonight. And... There's... Endless conversations we almost had, and that we did have, and that we look back on, <laughs> and so many things you, you were like teaching me that I was like learning, and it was maybe halfway through the process, <laughs> and uh, I wish you were here to finish those lessons. And, but I hope you hear this playlist that's happening because this was a fucking uh, many people playlist that I don't know, man. You have a playlist playing right now in the background of all of your best friends, and you're the permanent DJ, you're the permanent trendsetter, you're the permanent tastemaker, and uh, of course you have a fucking Spotify. Well, of course, and this you is funny. Worldwide parties yeah. everywhere. And I'm sorry to say, because I know you and I butted heads on this, but I it's Spotify. It's not an Apple Music playlist, and I apologize. <laughs> I, and we can't share with you, dude. We cannot share with you, but uh, I know you're listening right now, and I love you forever, dude. Love you forever, man. Check it out. Love you, Tone. We'll be with you, and I'll talk to you in my dreams, man. Please come. <laughs> We're going to throw this camera. Yeah. Tony, love you, dude. One of the best friends I've ever had. Best friends anyone could ever have. And you'll still always be everyone's best friend. Everyone loves you, everyone misses you. And see you again. I hope your party waving up in heaven. Can't wait to see you, bud. Love you. Anthony, you were a gem, a nutcase in all the best ways, and a super influential friend to everyone you touched. I love our many adventures we spent together and even though we didn't stay in contact and see each other every day we've always felt connected to you as a soul brother february 2nd february 3rd we shared a day apart same year your brother's in good hands man he's a solid dude and it was so good to know you so grateful i came out and thank you for connecting me to so many people Hope you're smiling and laughing at all of it. It's a beautiful mess. I wish I had a story for Tony that was like funny and uh, amazing and just like upbeat and cool, but I think this is kind of a, um, you know, there's a real deal thing going on here and a lot of spirituality to me. And, um, 
there's this clairvoyant thing I had and uh, it's just it's just weird and that's the reason I'm telling it like I love Tony I think um, he's the funnest coolest dude and I'm most sad about missing the times ahead that I was planning on having with him but the craziest shit for me is like there was this month-long period where I had this paranoia about helmets and I like raced motorcycles and I couldn't stop thinking about helmets and um, my first day to the track this year was um, I guess sat or Saturday or Sunday and Jen, my fiance, texted me and was like something's wrong um, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. Today's been pretty shitty, but I think I'm okay. But everything that whole day went against me, and I still had this whole thing on helmets. And uh, Driving home from the track that night, Curry texted me and let me know what happened. And I know it sounds like corny or something, but there's just this whole like other world that we can't see that is real and uh, I don't know like I just felt like she knew it and we had this whole feeling and premonition before word even got to us and um, I don't know I just I feel the same way as dad does and I think everybody else we just feel like he got robbed from us and I don't know. I think the world's a magical place, though, and he's going to be with us, and we have to, like, keep him with us, take a piece of him with us, you know, be positive, be open, be cool, be fun. Especially as you get older, it's hard to not be fun, but I think Tony, Tony knew how to do it, and there's no reason not to, so try to have fun and you know, but be deep you know <laughs> you don't got to be shallow in this world you know and I don't think he was I don't think anybody who's probably even listening to this is shallow but um, there's a lot going on here in the world and in the universe and stuff we don't know and just keep your head open you know like Look at stuff. Listen and see things, you know, and like be open. You'll be more aware of what's going on, and like uh, just do shit. And luckily, Tony did everything, man. Like he was all over the world having a good time, and there's no reason anybody shouldn't do that. So, yeah, man. I knew him, I knew, I knew I loved Tony the second I saw him, and we hadn't even met yet, and I said to Jen, man, do you think that guy's from New York or L.A.? <laughs> and we had to figure it out, and that was kind of the beginning, but, um, yeah, man. Best friend, looking forward to everything we had, looking ahead, you know. What a cool dude. And, uh, for all those who knew him longer and stuff, I'm sorry, and I, I love you guys, and... It's cool to meet the rest of his family. I'm putting this photo in my garage, which is like my shop and where I work and build motors, and I'll see him every day, and I'll think about him probably, probably every day of the rest of my life, and every trip we go to Pavones, I know I'll think about him, so. I love you guys, and I'm so sorry for your loss, and just, uh, you know, be aware of everything. Feel it all. All right, love you, bye.